The engineer facing criminal charges in the deadly Amtrak train derailment in 2015 is back in Philadelphia for a preliminary hearing. His lawyer is trying to get the whole case thrown out. Arjo Holden was in the courtroom this morning, and he joins us live now from the Criminal Justice Center in Center City with today's development. Joe, good afternoon. Rahel, good afternoon. This is a critical test in the case against Brandon Boston. He is held criminally responsible in the deaths of eight passengers on doomed Amtrak train 188. It was May 12th of 2015 when that train crashed in the Frankfurt curve along Amtrak's Northeast Corridor. CBS 3 cameras there as Brandon Boston arrived to the Criminal Justice Center today with his attorneys. His attorneys uh, contend that this was all a bunch of legal maneuvering and mechanics about how criminal charges were even ever filed against Brandon Boston. Now, the judge was hearing none of that and denied the motion to have uh, the case possibly appealed to a higher court to determine if this was the right place for these charges. Now, I can tell you the first witness on the stand, a Philadelphia police officer who was investigating an unrelated homicide, rushed to the scene and described basically a minefield of live strewn power lines across the tracks. He says he came across victims and body parts. He painted an absolutely grisly and very difficult scene to listen to. And then he also testified about the big shattered glass in the midst of the locomotive of train 188. That is the suggestion that Brandon Boston, the engineer, was somehow distracted when entering that curve because right earlier, a SEPTA train on an unrelated track also had its windshield shattered, distracting the engineer of that train. Apparently, in all points, bulletin went out along those rail lines to be on the lookout for people throwing rocks at trains. And then we saw the picture in court of the shattered windshield of car 188. That is one theory as to how Brandon Boston, the engineer of this locomotive, could have somehow have been distracted. And we are also hearing from some of the victims their testimony about how Boston was acting after this crash. Some very interesting details about his demeanor. Coverage on that part of this continuing case starts on Eyewitness News at 5. I will see you then. Reporting live in Center City outside the CJC, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Looking forward to that report. Thanks, Joe.